what is going on my peoples welcome back to the channel and today i want to begin this video with a mini ran slash advice for people out there uh for years now it has been uh an unspoken rule on the community that if you reissue or if you issue another figure of the uh, a specific character but it's from another movie that is considered fair game but if you're reissuing the exact same figure for the exact same movie that is kind of like a douchebag move from hot toys because now the the, the figure that i had uh, is losing value but when it comes to another movie then that is okay because that is not the figure for the same movie that i have it is another figure for the, another movie right that is kind of like a spoken rule on the hot toys community so now that is what we have here in front of us we have a reissue of the exact same figure which is minor changes here and there but it's the exact same figure, so I don't know how how that is okay for some people when reissuing the same figure for the same movie. It's not. In my opinion, it is... I know it's not the same, but it's kind of like the same. Because uh, it's going to drop the, the, the value of your figure anyways. Well, if you're saying that it's, that's how it works, then how come Spider-Man that was released... Uh, not long ago was not okay it was not the they were not reissuing the exact same spider-man it was for the for the next movie so it completely fits the criteria but people would not seen it that way obviously everybody that had it or that bought it on an expensive price uh were the ones thinking that way the people that didn't get it were super happy to to be able to get their spider-man as it's going to be for this guy there's a lot of people trying to get this guy and it's going for crazy prices now. And Hot Toys, he's keeping an eye on that. And they know. They know these figures are are going up in value. And so they're, he's, they're taking advantage of that. And they could reissue a figure uh, for... They, they don't have to work in this. They already have the mold for everything. For the boots, for the head, for everything. So it is super easy for them to put it together. And add a few accessories and come up with another figure a lot of people are going to be happy about and um, and they're going to make a lot of money out of it so my takeaway from this guys is hot toys has become um, what this is uh, what I always thought about like this is how I see hot toys this is how I see collecting hot toys but many people don't see it that way like when you buy a hot toy, it's not an investment anymore. It's not something that you're going to keep. It's going to gain value. Because especially when you collect properties like Marvel, they don't gain value. It's difficult for them to gain value. Only specific characters are going to gain value. Because there, there's always going to be another movie where they have an, a different outfit, a better outfit. But it's too much of a gamble. You don't know which outfit is going to be the best one. You don't know if that uh, character is going to be on, a, on another movie or not. It is just too difficult, or if people are going to be interested on that character or not. So it's just too much of a gamble to to buy these figures in order to hold them and uh, wait for the value to go up, right? It's it, it has become like everything else that you buy in your life. It, it doesn't. It, it it that's not how you see. If you buy a TV, you know, like I hope this TV goes up in value because it doesn't right you don't you don't think that way when you buy a microwave or anything else in your life that you purchase everything else that you purchase you just buy it and the value it's like a playstation or anything else so it is, it is time for us to start uh seeing these figures as such and if we get lucky one of the figures that we have because we liked it and not because we invested in it in order to gain profit from it uh, later on if we are lucky one of those figures could gain value and you could either have it in your collection and brag about how expensive it is or sell it for for a profit and uh, gain a little bit of money maybe towards another figure or anything else that you could possibly want out of that figure but it's a risky business right now guys so i suggest you guys to, so i heard some people out there saying i'm gonna buy two of these figures one for my own collection and one to hold for future be very very careful with those methods and be very careful try to pick the figure that you know uh you you think is going to 
uh, hold this value, like maybe an Iron Man or something like that. But uh, other than that, guys, uh, it's going to be very, very difficult. So you can see how Toys has got up to the third market and they, they know how much these, these figures are going for. So people are claiming for Scarlet Witch and for Falcon. So if you're on the hunt for those, I would say wait a little bit because they, they might get reissued from Endgame or from Infinity Wars. You can see we're still getting figures for an Infinity War so who knows if we get those they're gonna be easy it's not the same as putting a mantis uh you know you have to build her from the ground up right that, that is the figure that i would want out of infinity war but instead of we getting this guy again because it's super easy to put together so will be falcon because we they already have everything for falcon they only have to do is at the beer which is, shouldn't be that difficult and Scarlet Witch, the exact same thing. They just have to change the the, the color of the hair they're plugging into the uh, into the head, and that's gonna be it. So yeah, guys, that is my advice to you all out there: collect what you love, forget about the money, and uh, hopefully any figure that you, any random figure of the ones that you have, will gain value, and you will be happy about it. So yeah. After all that, let's take a look at this figure that we have already taken a look at, but it comes with a few interesting accessories, and uh, let's touch upon those. So, coming on to the likeness, we already talked about this, and not going to go much about it. I think he does look like Chris Pratt. He has big ears, and the expression on his face, it is not Chris Pratt, and it's not Star-Lord. None of those. I've never seen that expression on his face. Is completely off. I really do not like that expression. When it comes to the head skull, it really, it really does look like, like the actor. I have to say they have done a really good job in that. But the expression, I would like to see like a smirk or something like that, like they did on the first uh, head skull. That would have been really nice because it fits the character uh, better than this expression here that is. It is expressionless, in my opinion. It doesn't. It doesn't translate. Uh, it's not trans translating anything to me, if I can say that. So another of the accessories that he comes is you need to get the deluxe edition in order to get this. Uh, you know this helmet that is just just wrapping around his head as he pushes the bottom behind his ear which is really really neat but the paint job in this one it, I, don't, I don't think it compares to the original one obviously this is just a prototype hopefully it will be as good as the other one because i am not digging how how closer the the um, the color these two are here i like the other one it was this was very very gray and this was very very blue so you could tell that it was just forming right this is like energy in between and then this little details here those will be great the same color as this because his wrapping is forming around his head but this is just a prototype that could change so a really neat thing this figure comes is the mandalas of light that he used on infinity war to play this bomb on the back of Thanos. That was really, really cool. And it's really neat to see the Hot Toys is adding those to the collection. Another thing that I didn't like um, is they, they dropped the arrow rig for it and they went back to the thrusters. And when I said I didn't like, I didn't like the arrow rig. I like these thrusters on his boot way, way better. So I'm happy to see them back. And uh, yeah really really need to see them back super cool the effect on the flames how it has like flames as he's stepping on it in order for the mandala to grab his boot really really cool and you have the the bomb there another of the accessories is going to be this bubble effect for when he was about to kill gamora and uh, thanos stopped him so that is really neat i guess if you if you have thanos you can recreate that scene that would be really cool otherwise i don't see anybody else using this this bubbly effect to be honest another really neat accessory this guy is coming with is this little bomb attached that attaches to it's like a magnetic bomb that attaches um to iron man suit and then i guess it pulls him to a pole or something like that if i remember correctly oh gravity bomb here we go 
so I guess it brings him down to the floor. That's what happened. Something like that. I need to rewatch that scene. So another of the of the accessories. This this figure is coming with a few uh, surprises here. It's this lightning effect, which is another gravity thing that he throw at Thanos when they are uh, attacking him all at once in order to to take the gauntlet off his hands. So really neat. Yet another accessory this guy comes with is uh, a circle with the, for him to disappear after he placed the bomb on, on Thanos' back. He jumps out of this uh, sling ring and, uh, and he's given Thanos the, the middle finger. But <laughs> people were claiming for the, for the middle finger hand, but they, they didn't include it because this is a PG-13 uh figure guys we're not gonna be doing that over here so he comes with quite a few new things which is uh which is good and bad because it's nice to see new things but at the same time if you already own the figure like i do i have the deluxe edition then you you don't want to buy the exact same figure which looks any exactly the same essentially with the only difference here on the thrusters on the boots it's just for these little accessories that you know i don't see anybody doing that unless you're swimming in money so yeah so how much this guy is going for let's see he's going for 251 dollars and um, I don't even know what to say about that price because, for example, the first Star Lord, it came out, it was going for $230. And it had all of this, which is fairly comparable to what we're getting right now. And then the Deluxe Edition, which came with a lot, it was going for $251. But it was coming with a lot of stuff, as you can see here. It had the long stretch code with the scarf it had yet another look with the uh, with the jacket um it had the arrow rig it had all these necklaces it had a little groove the you this is like a must for me having the the walkman with the cassette really really nice it had uh glove hands which this guy does not come with this guy this guy this guy does not come with and uh and yeah and, and yet it's going for the same price so i don't know what to tell you guys i think he's just a tad expensive for the simple fact that this is a reissue figure so they didn't have to work on any of this they already had all of this all of this is in the computer they already know exactly what needs to be done to 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 create this figure right everything is down to the millimeter the, they have the mold they, all of this is sculpted all these molds are already sculpted all the the fabric everything 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 they they have done everything is it's already done so they didn't have to work on this so but at the same time i have said if you if you're having if you're buying a figure um that has two head sculpts it should go for $243 with minimum accessories, uh, which this could be minimum accessories or not. It's really, they're very minuscule accessories, but these two are pretty big and they has quite a lot. And it has uh, a third look. It has two health skulls and a third look for the health skull. So I, I would say that it's, if, if it was an original figure, I would be fine with the price. I, I would say the, the price is fine. But since this is a reissue, I would have liked to seen it like $10 less, going for $240, $243, something short like that. But no, that's not going to stop everybody, anybody from getting this guy, which is going for ridiculous prices on eBay. So I, I think it's an excellent figure. If you don't have a Star Lord in your collection, I don't even have to tell you that you need to get this because this that is a no-brainer if you like this look and if you do not want to wait for guardians of the galaxy volume 3 which uh many of you might want to wait for that because you maybe you you started in your collection just now and you can you're working on other figures that you want to prioritize 
but Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is going to be coming on on two years, and there's going to be yet another Star Lord, that is for sure. So this guy is going to, this guy, the, the price on this guy is going to drop uh, when that Star Lord is released. So whether it's a reissue or not, it's going to drop no matter what. So yeah, guys, that is what I have in my and my box for you guys. So let me know what you think about this figure. Do you miss him and you're getting him this time around? Are you going to wait for Volume 3? You think this is BS that, <laughs> that Hot Toys is re-releasing Star-Lord yet again? By the way, I bought the original Star-Lord for a ridiculous price. And then Volume 2 came out. And it was the figure that everybody wanted. And uh, and yeah, and my Star-Lord devalued tremendously. But I, I don't care. I, I, I bought it because... I liked it. I liked volume the movie better from volume one than volume two, and, and I like my figure and I'm happy with it. And that's just how life is. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And when you go to a restaurant and you spend two hundred dollars on a really fancy restaurant, when you go home, and those twenty hundred dollars are gone. There's nothing else that you can do with that money. You invested it in that meal, and that's about it. So if I can get just uh, anything out of my Star Lord or nothing at all, it don't matter. Those two hundred dollars for me are gone, and he was not an investment. He was something that I wanted, and I purchased him, and I'm happy with him, and uh, really cool. I obviously would not be getting this figure because it makes no sense. I have the deluxe edition from Volume Two. I have the Volume One, so I'm gonna be eagerly waiting for the Volume Three. Uh, star looks to see how he looks maybe he looks worse and i, I don't want to get near him or maybe he looks really really cool and uh, I'm, I'm hoping they go for the comic book look and really look like they did with rocket that is the star Lord that i want if they go for that comic book book look i'm gonna be all over that figure and i am predicting right now that that is going to be the case so really looking forward to that let me know in the comments below what you think don't be a stranger on the channel. Be around.